all righty you guys hello i have one percent battery on the camera and 20 percent on my phone so this video could be a hot mess like many of my others but welcome back to my channel today we are talking about something that i'm very excited about we're going to be talking about skincare um if you don't know me skincare is something that i'm so passionate about i've learnt so much information over the last few years um so much product knowledge so much ingredient knowledge i've tried a lot a lot of skincare and um yeah can't remember the last point i was going to say but basically today i'm going to be talking you through the best skincare that i have tried now disclaimer obviously i know everyone reacts differently to different products i personally have super super sensitive skin so i have tried so many things that don't work for me i'm not going to go through the like the bad skincare that i've tried because everyone's different and i'm not going to bash something that might work for someone else but i'm going to just personally be talking about my little wins and the things that i've tried that i love and um that i would recommend to other people these brands and these products are kind of my go-to's when other people are asking me skincare questions and stuff like that. So they're definitely things that I'm really passionate about. Um, most of them are on the more natural side. I do prefer more natural, clean skincare. Um, but even that has taken me a few years to kind of um, realise, I guess. I used to kind of use anything and now I'm very, very particular about what I use. So, yeah. Also, in saying that, I've literally only tried um, skincare from Sephora. So... I've never tried Priceline skincare, I've never tried Mecca skincare, so those that's a whole different ballpark. But I'm just going to tell you the best of what I have tried and what's worked for me. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Um, if you have any skincare questions in this video, pop them in the comment section and I will oh my hair. I will do a separate QA, like a skincare QA. I think that would be cute because I love talking about skincare. But let's jump straight on into it. So I'm going to run through just the brands first and then I will talk about what products from each brand I personally love. So my brands are Alpha H. Um, this brand is amazing. It's made on the Gold Coast. It's quite clean. It's not natural, but it is quite clean. They don't use a lot of like filler ingredients and stuff like that. Um, their packaging's beautiful. All the staff are beautiful. I've been to their um, HQ on the Gold Coast and had a facial there. Um, they basically believe that exfoliation um, is the most important thing in skincare, so that's what, kind of what their whole product is, uh, their whole brand is based around. But I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, the second brand is Arcona. This is um, another beautiful brand. This brand is natural. All of the ingredients are cold pressed, so they really savor um, all the nutrients and all the benefits from the ingredients that they use in the cold pressing because they don't lose any um, of the ingredient. Uh, but yeah, they're amazing too. The next one is Biosense. This is a new brand that I've started using recently. Not so recently, in the last few months. Um, but they're amazing. They use um, sugar cane derived squalene. Squalane, I don't know how to say it, but squalene, there's like a different one. One's from sharks, one's from plants. So it's the plant one. Um, yeah, so sugar cane derived, um, again, all natural, all their packaging's recycling. They're very, very sustainable brand, which is another thing that I look for in a brand as well, like recyclable, um, biodegradable, all that kind of stuff. They use vegetable ink on all of their packaging. So, oh, one second. Sorry, I had to go move my car for my mum. I can't remember what I was saying, so I'm going to jump to the next brand. And the next brand is Quarterly. This is another beautiful like, natural brand. They are, their key ingredient is grapes, so they use, whoo, I'm puffed from running up the stairs. They use um, grapes in all of their skincare. They use every single part of the grape, depending on what they need. They use the skin, the like inside, the seeds, everything. So different products, we use different parts of the grape. Um, but yeah, very nice and very quite luxurious brand as well. French, I think, but they're beautiful. The next brand is an honourable mention because it's probably my favourite skincare brand next to Biosense, I would say. Um, Dr. Robux. You guys have probably heard me talk about Dr. Robux forever um, because I always talk about it in my vlogs and I always use their products before and after my makeup. So yeah, I absolutely love Dr. Robux. Minimal ingredients, maximum results. That's their little slogan. But Australian made, cruelty-free, plant-based, 
almost all of their packaging is recyclable they literally have minimal minimal ingredients which is why it's so good for my sensitive skin the whole brand was designed for sensitive skin eczema rosacea all that kind of stuff so their stuff is literally beautiful and it's life-changing like it's so good so special shout out to dr. Robux because I love you so much <laughs> Um, and then we have Dr. Jard. This one's not necessarily natural or clean, but it is Korean skincare, so it's definitely designed to work. They use a lot of science. Um, Korean skincare is like really, 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 really good. They know their shit. They know how to get that glass glowy skin. So I love, love Dr. Jard as well. Fresh. Fresh is another natural brand. My beautiful friend Katie works for Fresh. Um, oh, I forgot to mention Misha also works for Dr. Robux. Um, but Katie works for Fresh and yeah, it's a really nice brand again, quite luxurious. They use a lot of natural ingredients like rose and black tea. Um, yeah, another super, super nice brand. Probably like one of the nicer brands that I started getting into with skincare, I guess. Um, a few more, we've got Indie Lee. I don't know too much about this brand, but again, it's just a really nice natural brand. I've only used a few of their products, but um, they're definitely worth talking about. Kapari. Kapari is another natural organic brand. Um, they are, all of their products are from, they use coconuts from the Philippines. Coconut is their core ingredient in every product. Um, they use the coconut shell, they use the coconut oil, they use coconut milk, like they use all parts of it. Um, yeah, from the Philippines, all organic, naturally sourced, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Murad, I don't use Murad anymore purely because I have gone to the more natural side of things, but Murad are a clinical brand, so if you want something to work, you get something from Murad. Like, Murad has amazing, amazing results in a lot of their products, um, and yeah, they're definitely a clinical brand, so they are results driven. Um, if you're yeah in the market for something that's going to work, it's strong, it's active, Murad's you go to developed by a uh, doctor um, now we've got Tata Harper and Youth to the People I don't know too much about either brand and I only like a couple of products from their brand or I've only tried a couple of products from these brands but two natural brands Tata Harper is an eco cert brand so it's completely organic which is really really hard to get um, it's the same as Kapari but not many brands can say they're completely organic um, but yeah, both really beautiful natural brands. Tata is a very luxurious, but really, really beautiful. So now that we've gone through all of that, my camera's gonna die. All right. Also, I know I have this black spot on this eye. It's eyeshadow, and I can't get it off without ruining my whole makeup. So we're just dealing with it. So jumping in to um, the first one that we have is Hyaluronic 8. Um, this is basically a serum. You pop it on before your makeup and it is beautiful. It instantly plumps the skin, it offers a massive dose of hydration into the skin with hyaluronic acid. Um, in turn, it makes the skin super plump, super hydrated. It's also got an ingredient called Primal Hyal Ultra Filler, which is what really, really helps. It's kind of like instant Botox, gives you that really, really plump feeling to the skin, it helps get rid of any fine lines and just makes your skin look beautiful, glassy, glowy. It's amazing before makeup. It's not a nighttime serum. It's not really like, I guess it is a treatment serum because it's going to give you that massive dose of hydration. But yeah, it's just really nice to put on before makeup or on those no makeup makeup days where you just want to look a little bit more fresh. Um, the second product is the Balancing Moisturizer with Gentle Exfoliant. This one's really nice. It has a low percentage of glycolic acid in it, so it's going to gently regenerate the skin and exfoliate the skin. This one you can't use every night and you can't do use during the day because it does make you more sensitive to the sun. Um, but... <clears throat> oh my god, I forgot to mention Ultraviolet. I'll get to that, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's really nice to use at night if you feel like you need that little bit of extra punch in your moisturizer, if you're feeling a bit congested or just feeling like you've got a bit of texture or anything, it's really nice to kind of pop on and in the morning you get that really, really nice smooth, um, glowy skin. Um, you guys have seen me talk about this before, but the Balancing Cleanser, it is their cream cleanser. I can't use gel cleansers, my skin is just too dry and too dehydrated. Um, so it is a cream cleanser, it's so nice, it helps balance the pH of your skin so that everything else that you pop onto the skin soaks in properly. Um, and it doesn't strip the skin at all because it is a cream and it makes sure that the pH is right 
as it should be um, in the middle of alkaline and acidic. So that's super, super important because if your pH is off in your skin, then your other products won't penetrate correctly. So yeah. Their hero product is liquid gold, but I personally am not a huge fan of liquid gold. It just doesn't really work for my skin. However, in saying that, I do love their body cloths from the liquid gold range. They're basically just an exfoliating body cloth with glycolic acid in them. You, I use them after the gym um, and they just really help to prevent getting like pimples and like back knee and chest knee um, and just to present, prevent build up of oil um, to prevent breakouts after the gym. So they're really, really good to use as a resurfacing body cloth. Um, but yeah, the liquid gold range is kind of like their top seller. Two more, we have the Daily Essential Vitamin Mist. This is just a really, really beautiful hydrating mist. It's got bitter orange in it. It's also got a blue light defense in it. So when you popped it on the on your skin, it's like wearing a blue light blocker on your face, which is really, really nice. One of their sunscreens does this as well. Um, blue light is one of the reasons that we are aging so prematurely because we are always on our phones. So having that extra bit of blue light defense is really, really amazing. Sorry, I got something in my eye. Um, but yeah, and then the last one is the vitamin C serum. If you watch my vlogs, you know I put this on every morning. Um, it's just a really, really beautiful serum. It helps to even out tech, uh, even out the tone of the skin. Helps to add luminosity. Helps to brighten pigmentation, and it's just a really nice morning serum to pop on. I don't like putting on vitamin C's at night because I do get a little bit bumpy, but I do use a vitamin C every single morning. All right, this next list is a big one. It's probably one of the biggest. Oh yeah, it's the biggest. So this is Arcona. So the first product I want to talk about is iDew Plus. Uh, is a hair on me. I wouldn't stay at home. So the first product that I want to talk about is iDew Plus. IG Plus is a really beautiful eye cream. I'm not allergic to it. Like I'm allergic to so many eye creams. It's got their patented, patented, patented retinol in it, it's called retinol, uh, which is basically just an anti-aging ingredient, helps with fine lines around the eyes, helps to plump up the eye area, it's also got caffeine in it, which helps with dark circles and brightening the eye area, and it also has liquid crystals, which also help to diffuse any darkness under the eye or anything like that, it is beautiful, you can use it on your lips as well, most eye creams you can use on your lips as well because this because the skin is so similar, um, but yeah, it's a beautiful eye cream, it's so expensive, but it's amazing. The second product is the PM Blemish Lotion, you've probably heard me talk about this before as well, this is just a really good um, salicylic acid blemish lotion, so you pop it on at night, you can use it as a serum all over, or I just use it as a spot treatment, again, it's got the retinol in it, so it's going to help to resurface the skin, so that there's no texture, there's no um, like scarring, anything like that, it's really, really going to help to prevent scarring in that area as well but salicylic acid basically works to get in the pore and clean around it so it's instantly going to reduce your breakouts by the next morning and it's super gentle and hydrating at the same time so it's not one of those ones that's going to dry the fuck out of your skin if you want that little extra punch of blemish uh, blemish treatment um, they have a product called tabula rasa they have it in a little bottle or they do just have it in a little pad that you can wipe all over the face Basically very similar, it just doesn't have the retinol in it, it's purely pretty much salicylic, so it is going to make sure that that blemish gets the heck off your face. Also really, really good to help with um, blackheads on the chin or on the nose or wherever you get blackheads, the salicylic is really going to help with that. So if you do suffer from more of a congested oily skin, this is something that I would suggest for you if you are um, like blemish prone. Kind of. Then we've also got the Brightening Gommage, JLo uses this shit, it's basically just an exfoliant but it's super super fine, I can't use manual exfoliants anymore so unfortunately I don't use it anymore but I used to and it is beautiful, it's super super grainy so you can feel that exfoliation happening. Um, and it's a gommage, so basically it works, you pop it on the skin, leave it for about three minutes and then you can wash it off, it's kind of like a mini mask and it's just going to give you that extra um, exfoliation because it's got enzymes in it. And enzymes basically work as little Pac-Mans and they bite away and eat away all the dead skin on your face, so if you're using that enzymatic exfoliant on top of the skin and you're kind of eating up all that dead skin and then you're using the buffing motion to kind of get it all away with the actual beads, um, which I think are jojoba beads then your skin is going to be so radiant and glowy and smooth afterwards. So I love any of their gommages. They also have the cranberry one, which is packed with antioxidants, and it's so good. They also have their white tea cleanser. Um, I don't use this anymore, again, because it is a gel cleanser and my skin is 
too dry and dehydrated for a gel cleanser, but it's beautiful. White tea is an antioxidant, so it's basically just going to give you that pollution protection, um, and it's really good makeup remover, and it smells delicious. Then they also have their cranberry toner. This one's amazing. It's just a general toner, but it smells really good. You've got cranberry in there, which is an antioxidant. Antioxidants um, prevent against free radicals. Free radicals are basically the angry cells or the evil cells that come in and latch onto your good cells and then they eat away at your good cells. So um, anything that has an antioxidant in it or a, a pollution defense or a free radical defense, that's going to stop those free radicals actually getting into the skin and attacking it. So anything with antioxidants in there is perfect for that. Helps with like pollution, external sun damage, all of that kind of stuff. So cranberry toner is amazing and it does also come in the form of a pad so you don't have to keep using cotton pads. You can just wipe it all over. It's really good for on the go. You can use it for makeup remover. It's beautiful. They also have two oils. So they have the wine oil, which is quite expensive, but it's beautiful. Again, it's made from grapes. It is such a luxurious facial oil. I am a hoe for a facial oil, so I absolutely love this. It smells divine and it is beautiful. It's so luxurious, it's so hydrating. It is pricey, but it's amazing. And they also have their most newest one, which is the Cerise C vitamin C oil so it's a vitamin C and an oil I was using this every morning but I really want to finish my alpha H bottle so I'm back to my alpha H but then I will go back to this because it's stunning I love using an oil in the morning to give me that extra glow even if I'm not wearing um, foundation or makeup I will put it on it gives you the nicest glow again vitamin C helps to brighten um, and it's amazing and then their hero product for me, my absolute favorite, favorite product, which you've heard me talk about before, is the Peptide Hydrating Complex. Basically, it's got peptides, it's got hyaluronic acid, it's going to plump the skin, it's going to firm the skin, it's going to hydrate the skin. It is beautiful. Like, anyone can use this. It's not heavy at all. It's not super, like, gluggy on the skin. It's super lightweight, but it just gives you that, like, instant hydration, instant plumpness. Ah, oh, it's my favorite product, probably out of a lot a lot of products that didn't make any sense but one of my favorite skincare products I've been filming for so long and I've only gone through two brands so but the rest are kind of smaller so that's alright the next one is Biosense I've only been using Biosense for maybe three or so months maybe a little bit more maybe since December um, but they are beautiful so my favorite product from them is their 100% squalene oil it's literally pure squalene nothing else in it plant derived squalene it's so good you're naturally body, you're naturally body, your body naturally produces squalene, so, um, but it just doesn't manage to make enough for the skin, I think that's right, um, but it's super, super hydrating, it's kind of like a multitasker, it does everything, so it helps to plump, it helps to hydrate, it is beautiful, so this oil is stunning, um, all of their products have squalene in it, but the oil is just a straight oil and it's so good. Then they have their Omega Repair Cream. This basically has um, ceramides in it. So ceramides basically help to... You have your moisture barrier on the top level of your skin. Your moisture barrier can break and that's when you kind of either lose moisture or you have too much um, oil. And if the moisture barrier is compromised and the overall health of your skin is not how it should be. So ceramides basically come along and they patch up like all of the the holes in the moisture barrier and they repair your moisture barrier and they basically help to improve the overall health of your skin um, if you also have a compromised moisture barrier that's when you get a lot of irritation that's when your products don't work properly and all that kind of stuff so ceramides and amino acids are super super important to help to repair that moisture barrier and this cream has ceramides in it it's amazing it helps get rid of my eczema and it is stunning it's quite thick but it's beautiful it's got the squalene in there as well to hydrate I'm getting so excited, I love talking about skincare. Um, then they also have their overnight resurfacing lactic acid serum. Lactic acid is basically, oh! Lactic acid is basically just a gentle exfoliant, so it's gonna help to resurface the skin overnight. It's gonna help with texture, it's gonna help with tone. It's really, really beautiful. This serum's quite new, it's quite expensive, but it's really, really, really good. And it's super thin as well, it's not a really heavy serum. It's super lightweight. Last but not least, they have their new squalene and marine algae eye cream. I have only used this a few times, but I'm giving it an honorable mention because I am allergic to 90% of eye cream. So if I mention an eye cream, it has to be good because if I'm not allergic to it, that's good. 
Um, but marine algae is really good. I think it's a purifier, but it also helps with antioxidants. Correct me if I'm wrong if you're watching this. Um, but, and it also helps to regenerate the skin, I'm pretty sure, because it's in a lot of anti-aging products. So yeah, that one's really good. Again, just for fine lines, super hydrating with the squalene, amazing. All right, quarterly. So the first product is their Vino Pure Toner, which you've probably heard me talk about before as well. This is just a salicylic acid toner. So it's got, it's, it's like a moderate percentage, so it's not super harsh, It's but it's, um, uh, it's still like, gets the job done. As I said before, salicylic helps with blackheads and any breakouts because it helps to clean inside the pore. It is amazing. It's called a BHA or a beta hydroxy acid um, and really, really good for blemish prone skin. So I always use this if I'm feeling a little bit more congested around my chin area, which I do get. You can use it anywhere. But when I'm feeling a little bit congested, I use this and it really like gets it out of there. You've got all the grapeseed extract and stuff in there as well so that it really um, soothes the skin and hydrates and doesn't strip the skin at all. They also just have their grape water spray which is just a beautiful hydrating mist. I don't know too much about it. I know it's got grapes in it, it's grape water and it just hydrates and gives you a beautiful glow. Then their Vino Perfect Serum which used to be my all time favourite serum. I haven't used it in a really long time but I did really love it when I used to use it. I've been through about four bottles I would say. Um, it's got their patent patented, I can't say that word patented paint, patented ingredient called vinifarine which is 60 times more powerful than vitamin C um, you, it does take a little bit longer to get that effect but it is more powerful than vitamin C so it's going to super super brighten it's going to help with pigmentation it's going to help with any scarring and it's going to give you a beautiful beautiful radiant glow Dr. Robux, this one's probably the second longest because I'm almost in love with every single product but I'll just shout out to my main ride or dies so we have Noosa, which is the cream cleanser. Again, I'm just a whore for a cream, cream cleanser. I don't know too much about the ingredients. I just know it's beautiful. I've only used it once or twice from samples, but I love anything that's a cream cleanser because it's so gentle on the skin and it feels so milky and I love it. Then we have No Worries, which is their, um, basically just their moisturizer. It's really nice. It's got hyaluronic in it. It's beautiful, it's super lightweight, works beautifully under makeup, so it's going to hydrate but it's not going to give you a super heavy feeling but it's still going to give you enough hydration. Um, Lifesaver, Lifesaver is their AHA toner, it is in a spray form or you can spray it onto a cotton pad and wipe it over but it's basically just like AHA is a glycolic or something like that that's going to resurface and exfoliate, it helps with um, moisture intake helps, as I said, to resurface, regenerate, help with cell turnover, all of that kind of stuff. And I love this one because it's super gentle, so it doesn't irritate my sensitive little, little skin. Then we have Byron. Byron is a two-in-one mask and scrub, so you kind of pop it on. It's going to help to purify. It's got kaolin clay in it, so it's going to help to draw out any um, toxins or impurities in the skin. So it really helps with breakouts and stuff as well. I literally used it last night. It's amazing. Um, but then it also has a scrub in it. So it's got perfectly spherical, it's perfectly spherical beads in it. The beads are two sizes. So there's a bigger size and a smaller size. And they're perfectly, perfectly spherical. So that, oh my God. So that they don't cause any micro tears in the skin. Like a lot of um, uh, exfoliating products do because like especially like homemade ones when you're just using sugar, those crystals can be really, really abrasive. So this way making them completely spherical means there's no abrasion on the skin, there's no micro tears, there's no damaging to the skin. And yeah, it's really, really, really beautiful. Then we have Icebergs, which is another one you've heard me talk about religiously. It's just their hydrating mask. It's a really nice gel formula. I'm pretty sure it's got um, algae in it and it has hyaluronic in it, I think. Um, so it's just a beautiful, beautiful dose of hydration. And you also have Tama, which is Manuka honey and turmeric. So it's going to help to heal the skin. So this is a separate mask, by the way. It's the yellow one. I don't know if you've seen me do that before, but um, it basically helps to heal. I always use it when I have an eczema irritation or an eczema flare up um, or anything like that. Or like a, like a big like scarring from a breakout or something and it's really going to help to basically repair that area. Manuka honey is anti-inflammatory um, so it's going to help to really yeah calm and soothe and turmeric is a brightening as well so it's going to help give you that nice radiance. Then they have the True Blue Serum which is just a hydrating serum. It's got peptides in it so it helps to plump I'm pretty sure. But it's plumping, it's hydrating, it's beautiful and again it's not too heavy. I have 
I think serums is my problem area. I think that's what causes me to get a lot of eczema, but True Glow does the opposite and actually helps to treat it because it is so gentle, such minimal ingredients, and it's so, so nice. Then they have their Bondi Hydrating Mist, which you've probably seen in my makeup videos. I use it before makeup, I use it after makeup. It's just a straight hydration mist. It's got hyaluronic, it's got vitamin B3, I think, Michelle, sorry if I'm wrong. Um, vitamin B3, which helps to kind of energize and soothe the skin. Um, and then Kakadu Plum. I could be wrong. Hang on, I'm going to check that because I don't want to be wrong. I am right. Um, Kakadu Plum, which is an antioxidant, so it's going to... Oh, I have a headache. So yeah, it's going to help to protect the skin. And then you've also got cucumber in there, which is going to soothe. So yeah. So yeah, that is Dr. Robux. Dr. Jart next. We only have a few from here, but we've got the Ceramidin Cream. Um, again, this is just a really nice moisturizer. It's got ceramides in it, so it's really reparative. So I did use this one before I used the Biosense one. I'm still trying to finish a tube, but um, yeah, it's basically very reparative. It's really, really hydrating. It's really gentle. Um, you can use not any irritation that you've had. It's quite a thick moisturizer, so some people don't really like it, but I love it. I think it's like a lifesaver. And yeah, I think it's really, really beautiful. I just do love my Biosense one more. But it's definitely up there with one of my top products. Um, then they have their soothing mask and their hydrating mask. They're just sheet masks and I'm not normally a sheet mask person. But the soothing sheet mask used to always help because I would literally always have a rash on my face. Because I'd always have an allergic reaction to something when I first started trying out a lot of skincare. And I would always just do this mask and it just helps to soothe any irritation, um, any inflammation, any redness, any itchiness. It really helps to just take that away. Same as their hydration one, um, but yeah. And then I also really love their Hydrofuse Toner. This has been discontinued from store, but it's still on the website, so I'm going to talk about it anyway. It's just a really nice toner. It's hydrating. It's got lactic acid in it, so it's going to gently resurface. Um, it really helps with my congestion. It's really, really nice. Haven't used it in a while, but I do love it. And last from them, they just have a really good my micellar water called Micro Water. It's just the best micellar water I've ever used, so I thought I'd talk about it. All right, one more long one, and then we've got a couple of short ones. We've got Fresh next. So things I love from Fresh. They have their Kombucha Essence. This one is beautiful. It is expensive, but it's so nice. It's got black tea in there, so which is an antioxidant, um, so it's going to help to protect the skin. And in doing that, it's an anti-aging product as well. So you pop it on before you put all your other skincare on. You do have to do this with it, like little piano key fingers. Um, and it basically helps to draw all of your other skincare further into the skin as well. So I love that one. You've got your deep, deep hydration facial toner. This one is made with real rose petals. It's made with rose water. It's so luxurious. It's so nice. It's just a toner, but it hydrates. It smells good. It's luxurious. It's bougie. It's beautiful. The rose deep hydration face cream. Again, just a really, really nice, rich moisturizer. Beautiful if you need that little bit of extra hydration because rose is really super hydrating. Rose also helps to balance out oil though as well and purify the skin. So a good all-rounder really. Um, the Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Wash. This one is beautiful. It's just a um, manual exfoliant but it's not too harsh on the skin so you can use it daily. Even on my sensitive skin I use it all the time and I absolutely love it. You've got strawberry seeds in there. You've got sugar crystals but they're... They're not abrasive sugar crystals. Um, and because sugar is a natural humectant, it actually draws moisture from the air into the skin so that it's not stripping the skin at all. It's keeping your skin hydrated while you're still buffing away all that dead skin. And it's beautiful. Best thing to do in the morning if you just need a little bit of an extra boost of glow, it's going to give you that straight away. They have two masks that I love, the Rose Face Mask and the Sugar Face Polish. The Rose Mask, again, is just extremely hydrating it's probably my favorite mask to put on before foundation because it makes your skin so soft and supple it's got real rose petals in there it's so nice it smells delicious and it's so luxurious that's what I love about this brand is it's so luxurious then their sugar face polish again it's made with sugar so it's going to draw moisture into the skin and it also has that a separate exfoliation with the actual sugar crystals as well all of their lip balms are amazing. In particular, I love the Advanced Therapy lip balms. Pop on before I go to bed. But their tinted lip balms all have SPF in them, which is excellent. It's only an SPF of 15, but so, so good to give your lips that SPF protection as well. It's really, really important. 
Then, of course, one of my favorites, what I use to take off my makeup every single time I wear makeup is the Seaberry Cleansing Oil. This is so nice. It literally just breaks down makeup so beautifully. Waterproof makeup, eye makeup, anything, it breaks it down so nicely. It leaves the skin so soft and supple. Doesn't leave a greasy film on the skin like a lot of cleansing oils do. And it is really, really nice. Um, it doesn't strip the skin at all. Yeah, I prefer to use cleansing oils because I am dry, so I don't use like makeup removers or anything. I use a cleansing oil so that it really breaks down the makeup, but it's so nice. And then you've got the Vitamin Nectar um, Glow Water, which is basically, again, just a hydrating mist, but you've got that punch of vitamin C in there as well, so it's going to brighten and just give you an all-over glow. From Indie Lee, we have the Brightening Cleanser. I don't use this anymore because it is a gel cleanser and I can't use gel cleansers, but it is really, it's really, really good for brightening the skin and it smells amazing. And then also from Indie Lee, the COQ10 Toner. This is basically just a toner. You spray it on, gives you a really nice glow. I use it as a setting spray, but um, it's a toner, so you can use it beforehand. Um, but COQ10 is an antioxidant, so it's just gonna help to give that skin the skin that little bit of extra protection they also have a straight squalene oil which is beautiful as well it's a tiny bit richer than the biosense one but it is the biosense one is better value for money um, but they're both very similar i really love them both and then indie lee also have a clearing mask which has sulfur in it and sulfur is amazing for detoxifying i've only used it once but it was when i had a massive breakout on my chin a blind pimple and it literally took it down so much it was amazing so i love 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 that mask from Kapari, they have a natural deodorant, which is just a coconut oil deodorant. Um, natural deodorant is really good because it helps to draw out all of the toxins and stuff that you use from an aluminum-based al aluminium based deodorant. Um, and obviously, it just stops you from having to put those chemicals back into your body um, from normal deodorants. They also just have a rose water toner, which is a spray-on toner. Again, I just use it as a hydrating mist during the day, but you can use it before you do the rest of your skincare. It just smells really good. It's rose, so it's super hydrating, and yeah, it's beautiful. They have a body milk and a body scrub. Both of these self-explanatory, but just so nice with the coconut in there. The scrub uses the coconut shell as the actual exfoliant. Um, it smells amazing. Everything from this brand smells incredible, but... Yeah, their body milk is so rich, but it's like absorbs really quickly and so, so nice. They also have a cleansing oil and a facial oil, both of which I love. Again, not much to talk about. They don't have a lot of ingredients, basically just coconut and a couple of other things. But the cleansing oil breaks down your makeup and the face oil is really, really nice to mix in with foundation or to put on before foundation or just to give you that really, really... Um, extra bit of nourishment to the skin. From Murad, as I said, I don't really use this brand anymore, but if you want those clinical science-based results, they're really, really good. They have an AHA BHA cleanser, which is basically your manual and your chemical exfoliant, so it's amazing for um, uh, resurfacing the skin. I was using this before I tried the fresh one, now I love the fresh one, so I use that one, but this is really, 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 really good. I do love this. Um, yeah, they have their rapid spot treatment, which is basically just a salicylic acid treatment, so it's really good for getting rid of blemishes like straight away. It gets in there straight away, dries it out without leaving it super, super dry, but it is definitely a more intensive spot treatment. Their Advanced Active Radiance Serum, this one is a vitamin C serum. It is so good. If you have struggles with pigmentation, this vitamin C serum is 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Um, I used to use it and I realized that it was getting rid of my freckles because it's that powerful, so I stopped. And then they have their Hydrodynamic Quenching Essence. This is just an essence that you pop on before you do the rest of your makeup. Helps to, I mean, your the rest of your skincare. Helps to draw everything into the skin and it's going to really, really, really deeply hydrate. I forgot to mention this at the start, but Ultraviolet, um, no products in particular. Their whole brand is amazing. It's an Australian-made SPF. SPF is the most important part of your skincare routine. They have um, a couple of different kinds. I won't get into what they're all about, but you're welcome to ask. Um, but yeah, SPF, so important. Um, last two brands, we've got Tata Harpa. They only have one product, but that is their Regenerating Cleanser. This is just a beautiful resurfacing, exfoliating cleanser. I try not to use it every morning because it is so outrageously expensive, but um, it's really, really, really nice. And then Youth to the People, they have um, 
their kale superfood kale moisturizer it's a really nice lightweight moisturizer to pop on before makeup um, it's not super intensive in terms of hydration but it's going to give you that little bit of antioxidant protection and it's really like lightweight so it's a good everyday moisturizer their super berry um, oil this one is amazing it's got goji berries in it again just an antioxidant but it's a beautiful oil helps to brighten the skin protect the skin nourish the skin um, I've literally on my last dregs of my bottle and I'm really upset to be finishing it so that one is amazing the um, eye cream I can't remember what it's called but it's really nice it's very similar to the biosense one so I do really like it again I'm not allergic to it so that's a win from me it's got peptides in there so it helps to really plump um, I don't know too much about it but that's what I know about it and then the last which is my favorite product right now and I can't get enough of it it is their kombucha AHA toner so it's 10% glycolic and lactic acids normally I can't use that percentage on my face because my face is so sensitive but it's so gentle because it's enriched with so many other really nice natural gentle ingredients and it is amazing I'm trying not to overuse it because it's so so good but I just pop it on a cotton pad before I go to bed put nothing else on and my skin is glowing in the morning so if you're looking for one product that kind of just does it all I would strongly recommend the kombucha toner but yeah, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is such a lengthy video, but I just wanted to give you as much information as possible about my absolute top shelf skincare products. Um, feel free to ask any questions and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and thumbs up.